ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமகா ஹரிஹி ஓம் நமஸ்தே வெல்கம் டு செக்ஷன் டென் ஆஃப் தி ஆதித்ய ஹிரதயம் லேர்னிங் சீரீஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ வி ஷெல் பி லேர்னிங் வர்சஸ் ஃபோர்டீன் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டீன் ஆஃப் தி ஆதித்ய ஹிரதயம் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லெட் இஸ் லேர்ன் இட் வேர்ட் பை வேர்ட் ஆதபி மண்டலி மிருத்யு பிங்கல சர்வதாபனக கவிர் விஷ்வோ மகா தேஜா ரக்த சர்வபவோத்வ நக்ஷத்திர கிரகதாராணாம் அதிபோ விஷ்வாவன தேஜசாமி தேஜஸ்வி துவாதாத்மன் நமோஸ்து தே நவ் லெட் இஸ் லேர்ன் டு சாண்டட் ஆதபி மண்டலி மிருத்யு பிங்கலசர்வதாபனாவோத்வ நக்ஷத்திரகதாராணாம்ஜசாமேஜஸ்வீஜசாமேஜஸ்வீ மோஸ்து ஆதபி மண்டலி மிருத்யு பிங்கலசர்வதாபனா கவிர் விஷ்வோ மகா தேஜா ரக்தவோத்வ நக்ஷத்திரகதாராணாம் அதிபோ விஷ்வன This was another beautiful stanza of Aditya Hridayam that we learnt. This stanza too describes Lord Surya Bhagavan with a few more beautiful names. The name at the beginning, Atapi, means the one who creates a lot of heat. This name aptly describes Atapi. Lord Aditya Next the Nama Mandali 2 describes him as a circular disk full of rays of light Do you know why Surya Bhagavan is also called Mrityuhu It is because the rays of the sun destroy all the harmful organisms The next Nama of his Pingala correctly describes him as the one who is reddish yellow in color Do you know the meaning of the word sarvatapana This nama is as scientific as it can get it literally means the one who heats up everything just imagine how hot everything gets on a hot summer afternoon due to this heat the water cycle in nature takes place due to which we get rains The next nama kavi means he is a great scholar Aditya Bhagavan is a great gnani he is the guru of many great people like Hanuman Manu etc Lord Surya is also Vishwaha the one who preserves the world's order without the sun how can anything survive it is rightly said that he is Mahateja or the one who has great radiance because he delights everyone with his glowing presence he is called as raktaha and as he takes care of everyone's well being he is referred to as sarvabhavod bhavah lord surya bhagavan is the lord of all stars planets constellations and all the heavenly bodies hence he is called as nakshatra grahataranam adhipati don't all the planets revolve around him including the earth we live in and don't so many heavenly bodies get affected by the sun the next nama of his vishwabhavana means he lights up the whole world 
how could we even wake up to a new day if it was not for lord surya bhagavan this leads us to his next nama tejasamapi tejasvi this nama means the one who provides light to all other luminous objects and finally the nama which concludes the stanza is dwadashatman do you know what the sanskrit number dwadasha means in english it means the number 12 lord surya bhagavan is the embodiment of the 12 mandalas 12 chakras and the 12 calendar months dear viewers do watch out for our next release of surya bhagavan as dwadashatman to understand this nama better